with regards to the aspirational district program understandably the district collector who was to be present here is not present and uh, i would hence express what i saw in my review today the district of vinad which was made a part of the aspirational district project under the aegis of the niti aayog had challenges with regards to health nutrition education infrastructure and opportunities in fields like agriculture skill development financial inclusion where it was found that citizens were not satisfactorily receiving state support subsidies or for that matter infrastructurally systems were not competent enough to deliver the constitutional rights of citizens under this program there has been a concerted effort between the government at the center and state governments and district administrations across the country to ensure that ease of living is bettered in fact enhanced and infrastructure is strengthened developed and services such as health education nutrition financial services skill development are productively delivered to citizens in the past 10 days i've had the privilege of visiting two aspirational districts one in fatehpur uttar pradesh and today the district vayanad in the beautiful state of kerala while in my experience in fatehpur uttar pradesh the district in the rural landscape of uttar pradesh was ranked 111 today it is ranked number 8 there has been a constant effort by the state government and district administration to improve rankings by enhancing services and strengthening infrastructure in my review of schemes projects in the district vayanad i was made to believe by the district administration that challenges still persist there are challenges in health infrastructure there are challenges in skill development there are possibilities of enhancing financial services especially for the poorest of the poor and on the agenda of skill development much can be done through cooperation and coordination between various government entities within the district i was particularly delighted when the district administration informed me that government of india psus have supported through their csr funds some projects in district vayanad one such project the smart anganwadi was visited by me today the district administration has expressed its delight that government of india psus their funds were allocated with speed and precision and the work today thanks to their support speaks for itself i have received commitment from the district administration that they are reviewing processes so that their system deliveries can be better the district administration was kind enough to visit some hamlets with me where citizens are still in need of certain principal services like electricity connections better water facilities health facilities i have been assured by the district administration 
that the help that has been demanded by citizens in Vayanad will be given to them. Today, I am mindful of the fact that though Vayanad has still not managed to substantially enhance its rankings in the aspirational district program, I have been told by the district administration that challenges that were today reflected upon in our discussion and review will be met with solutions expeditiously. I now leave the floor open for questions. Any questions anybody would like to ask? My request is, can you first please identify yourself and your media organization? Yes. Yes. You have been traveling to various places the last two days. So we happen to speak to a number of tribal communities here. So one of the issues which they raised is related to land. They don't have a title in terms of land. At least 10,000 people from tribal communities don't have a title in these. They say that there's a 2010 Supreme Court order which allows them to, you know, the government is supposed to give them the land. But still they are living, you know, in in forest areas and also in other areas. So they are saying that this is one of the major concerns which should be taken up. This tribal population concern in the district of Vayanar, and especially their land rights, is an issue that came up for discussion in the review meeting today. The district administration has informed me that digitization of land records is underway. They have also said that this effort is 50 years old. However, they have assured me that they will expedite the work on the land records. My appeal to many a people that I met today, many amongst them gave me written applications. Many youngsters who came with such tribal populace were requested by me to get their details so that the district collector could be given those details. And I am hopeful that those written requests from the local population will be met with a productive solution and a timely solution by the district authorities. This includes farmers who met me this morning who were called for a meeting for compensation, but the meeting stood cancelled and the farmers did not have information. So I collected papers from the farmers as well and gave it to the district administration. I am happy with the ongoing Sir, can I please yeah. have your uh, introduction? I need to know what your news agency is. I am Manoj from the Kimbi newspaper. Yes. So today I was told that 50,000 farmers, in fact 57,000 farmers do not have Kisan credit card. Today I was told that 1,35,000 families and households don't have a water connection. Today I was told that digitization of land records, or for that matter the processes of ensuring land records are properly maintained, is a 50-year-old process which is not complete. Today I was told that sickle cell anemia, which is a big challenge in the tribal population, screening is not happening adequately. Today I was told that the medical college and the area from which it is to function is a contentious issue. Today I was told that in the area of skill development there is much work which is still needed to be done. In fact, in an area such as the differently abled, there has been zero skill certification. So given that the challenges are aplenty, I cannot express jubilance. Yes, sir. The aspirational district program was initiated for the uplifting of poor districts. Yes, sir. And and why not in connected in this program, the situation of the people and the other people in the district is poor. That is exactly the question that I asked the district collector. That it has been three years, and I've given a comparative that I saw a district which was ranked 111 come up to 8. What can be done to better the administrative performance? And I should also say this when you talk about alleviation, 
of people who come from challenging economic backgrounds. Prime Minister's schemes such as Swanidhi have not been made fully functional, especially for poor and especially street vendors. So I have been assured today by the district administration that street vendors credit program called Swanidhi will also be undertaken. I was also told that there are many vacancies that they are in the process of filling in the teaching and medical fraternity. I am also told that issues such as water connections will be provided by the year 2023 when the government of India has set that deadline. So yes, there is much that is not being done, but I have been assured that it shall be done. Now, did you see any non-cooperation of the state in the implementation of the weapons district? Did I see? Non-cooperation of the state in the implementation of the weapons district. That is for the current MP of Vainar to speak on. Myself, if you uh, can find him, you should ask him. Myself, we will come on our minds. So, as you said, how do you evaluate the current initiatives and the work done by the current? The district has evaluated its own self. And that is why in February it got ranked 108 in the parameter of health and nutrition. So when the evaluation happens, it does not happen independent of the district administration. It is the district administration, the state, which fill up the data points. It is their own evaluation that they are lagging behind. Our position is, how can we help? Yes, sir. And what about your, what, what is your opinion about the living standard of the private people in this forest? Sir, there is a substantial tribal population that is faced with health challenges, that is desirous of a roof over their head, that is desirous of skill development, that wants better opportunities in education for their children. That is what was expressed to me by the tribal families that I visited today. Then what are the suggestions you made, ma'am, to address those issues? Suggestions were aplenty. I requested the social justice administrative vertical to work with education, with health, with skill development. Unfortunately, that coordination did not exist. I requested the district collector to sit with the district medical officer, with the ICDS program officer, with the education officer, and with the social justice officer to look at all the welfare schemes and how you can enhance the performance of the district in those welfare schemes. I requested the skill development officer to engage with the lead bank so that those organizations or individuals who have received credit so that they can start a new business can receive the adequate skill sets from the skill development officer. I have also visited and interacted with many officers at the ground level and as the gentleman before said, with tribal families and taken note of their concerns and conveyed that to the district administration. Insofar as farmers go, I was alarmed when I was told that the soil testing meter which tests uh, the soil for micro macronutrients has been dysfunctional for six months now. So I have requested the district administration that in the interest of farmers to look at all the tools that are needed for farming. I have also requested the district administration to ensure that the Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana, which is the insurance cover at one rupee, be extended to agricultural labor. I have requested that the district identify those street vendors across the district of Vayanad, including and especially in poor areas, in rural areas, and extend to them the street vendors credit program called Swanidhi. I have also, and the gentleman from Times Now spoke about land rights, taken up the issue of Swamitva Yojana, where the land and property right is given as a card to the individual citizen. I was told that since the digitization work has not been completed, that is why this particular program 
has not been enhancedly implemented in the district and these are just a few examples in fact i was extremely uh, grateful when i heard that 135000 homes don't have individual tap water connections i was grateful when the district administration said that they will ensure that they speed up the program under the prime minister's jal jeevan mission so these uh, for instance under pradhan mantri awas also there are a few houses which have been allotted and the full expanse of the scheme is not implemented and that housing scheme especially for the poor and lastly my special request given that the tribal population not only is challenged with sickle cell anemia but also anemia screening needs to happen specifically across the female population uh, in the uh, district is something that i had appealed to the district administration i am also mindful that our government at the center is running a program called kanya pravesh utsav wherein out of school girls are to be brought back into school unfortunately the district education officer did not have that information i have assured them that whatever information we have from the center we'll send it to the district so that out of school girls can again be enrolled back into government schools in wyandot last question yet barely a lady and the rest gentlemen there is a complaint placed by the local mlas and the district of that officials that they were not informed or invited on your program that is something that the district collector is answerable for not me this is her district she gets to invite people not me have just one last question but regarding the housing scheme that has been given by the state government when the project was licensed for the project of which 3200 houses are supposed to be constructed but uh, you know uh, what we understand is the majority of the houses that has been constructed is it's not fully constructed it's half constructed there's no toilet facilities there is no electricity there is no water facility so we need to take up this matter because uh, there is an issue in this there is a grave issue in this in all in all these cases there is a contractor who actually uh, comes as a middleman between uh, the private welfare officer and the 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 private family so he basically there is a complaint among the private private community that people actually siphon off the money and uh, you know and that's the reason why the houses i am i am aware that there is one officer from the district collector's office who is sitting here right now who can take notes of what you have just said and i'm sure though the collector has chosen to be absent from the press conference their officer will definitely tell them yes now this is the last one yes would you like that absolutely and i bring compliments from the people of amethi to vayanad I'm not Rahul Gandhi I don't run from Amethi <laughs> Thank you